Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Well, what a week um, to all of my viewers and to all of my subscribers. Um, yeah, a week from hell, for sure. The beautiful picture you see on the front of this clip um, is my Andy. And he found me, and I think that's what started um, our magical bond, uh, to be quite honest with you. Um, I had lost my Alaska Malamalt, uh, I called him a puppy dog, but he was just shy of 12, and he died quite horrifically um, within the space of two weeks. And then it was a couple of months after that, which Andy showed up in our garden. Um, uh, we've got quite a large garden on all different levels, I live in the family home, um, and my father has um, landscaped it with different ponds and different levels of steps and things. And one day, this beautiful blue furred uh, with a white chest cat turned up just outside of our uh, utility room on a step outside. And straight away, I, when I seen him, I just thought, wow, I'm a faith. So faith has got me through a lot. And it was about three months, ta uh, three months after losing Sabre my Alaska Malamalt, um, that Andy would show up. And I named him very, very quickly. Um, strangely enough, just come into my head to call him Andrew. And then Andy, Andy kind of took over calling him Andy. My mum always called him Andy Pandy. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was just, he, well, honestly, it's been a shocking, shocking week. It really has been. Um, and a lot of people think, why are you on your channel like this? Because my channel has always been like a virtual diary to me as well. Yes, we talk about motivation in life. Yes, I capture lifestyle clips. Yes, I capture hair and hair loss and, and all those uh, important things and about getting back up when you fall down um, and motivation clips in life as well. Um, for me at that time, about three months after losing Sabre, Andy came into my life, and um, and do you know what? That cat was magically incredible, and I loved it with all of my heart. And it's about four years. Um, do you know he never come inside? He would vent. He'd venture in a couple of times. And every now and again, he'd venture in. Um, but he had a house. My father built him a house outside. And um, and I he didn't really take to that too much. So he had. Um, I suppose you'd call it like a large dog's bed with all different quilts and covers in, and that's what he had throughout the summer. And then I um, bought him uh, an outside house with all different uh, fluffy covers and things inside. And he, he'd have several beds around the garden. And um, I would I would buy him whatever food, all different foods, all different treats, all different snacks, and. Um, he very quickly adopted us as his family. He never never went to the vets. Um, he was in a poor state when he... He was beautiful, his fur. It was absolutely beautiful, and you'll see from the picture how incredible he looked. Um, and, uh, yeah, just absolutely um, stunning. But you could see that he had he was frightened and um it was almost like he'd been through something in life and he was very jumpy um and he was very thin so we looked after him and we had some incredible times um we really really have and um i never ever thought that it would go what happened this week not in a million years i have try not to be upset because i've cried that much this week um because you could probably tell i'm brokenhearted and devastated. Um, so I was, and of course, 2021, I lost my, in May, May 31st, I lost my nan after looking after her with um, Alzheimer's, looking after her with my mum. And we were mainly the people who'd seen her and looked after her. And um, throughout this time, Andy, Andy was... It was just strange to think that, um, that that these awful things would happen in life and then Andy would turn up and he'd be there. 
and it was strange um his kind of presence his magical presence and if i would be in the garden he would be there he he was spent he would always spend a lot of time with us so he was he was mine our last game my my saber was it was our it was my mum and dad's so it's almost like a fairy brother to me um my mum and dad had four boys and they always said that Saber was one of the boys. Um, but Andy was mine. And um, I felt a connection with him straight away and he chose me. So it's a very special bond. And throughout worries, stresses, I'd walk around in the gardens and um, and Andy was always there. Um, in the summer, he'd lie with us in the garden. Meal times, honestly, that cat loved his food and his treats, and he'd have about he'd have like two breakfasts in the morning, and he used to love my mum, and um, and he would have it whenever he wanted throughout the day, and sometimes he'd be outside waiting to be fed it. Sometimes like ten o'clock at night, but he would wonder, and it was always a worry of mine, a wonder. Um, Yeah, I would, I would, um, I would always worry, and uh, yeah, I'm always worried about about him. And then, um, we had a wonderful Christmas, wonderful Christmas. I've got some like again. I was outside of Andy at Christmas all the time, and uh, and then the um, the weekend. Uh, last weekend, Sunday was of course Mother's Mother's Day, and on the Saturday I'd been out for lunch for as a treat for my mum's Mother's Day, and um, I'd come back and Andy was at the door uh, waiting for his lunch. Pretty normal. Um, didn't think no more about it. I was always buying him, trying him on fancy foods and treats and whatever. And at Christmas I bought him this big, lovely, white, fluffy bed and. Um, these like uh, all treats and things you know I've, I was always buying buying them for him and um, in the weekend on uh, the Saturday when we come back I suppose it was around about three maybe four so it was a late lunch for Andy and um, he just seemed to be extra excited to see me which was really really strange and twirling in and out of my feet when I was in the utility room preparing his food. And uh, he was beautiful, beautiful, like blue grey fur. And uh, I gave him a little rub and uh, with his head and um, didn't think no more was going to happen. And I shot back inside and I went on with, I think, putting some groceries away. And um, it was busy because my mum had popped around to see the neighbours for something. And, um, and dad was in the garden. But next thing I, I knew, Andy had done his normal routine. And uh, he was he was gone. And he was an explorer. I, in our local area, sometimes I'd be walking around and I'd see him everywhere. And I'd always make a joke to him, you better get home. And because I've got you this food, or you better get home in this, and then time I'd get home, he'd be there. And uh, so Sunday, he didn't turn up. It wasn't where I usually is waiting for breakfast. And at first, sometimes he'd been away for two days max, I think, and then we'd see him. Then Sunday evening came, in the afternoon, because I cut hair. Um, just as a background interest, and I was cutting my dad's hair. And every time I cut any of my family members' hair, Andy's always going to cut it outside. We've got like an area which we do outside. And um, Andy's always on my feet whilst I'm doing it. And he's always there with me, and he's annoying whoever else is there. So he wasn't, he wasn't there, and um, Sunday evening came, and he wasn't there for dinner. And... Um, this got on to Monday, and I just started to have a strange feeling that something wasn't right. His house wouldn't been touched, and Andy had, I always said, like a girlfriend that was a similar uh, size cat, and she was black and um, like an auburn colour. 
whereas Andy was blue, grey and white. And they would always be together. And Andy would sometimes wait for the food, which we'd given him, and he'd let her eat. And then he'd hound like us for more, so then he would eat. Such a considerate, loving cat. And um, and it was more than that. The cat does, the name cat doesn't do him justice, so I don't use it. And um, when it started coming to Monday, I started having a strange feeling, and so did Mum. And Nesca was touched, and then by Monday evening, nothing. Tuesday, still nothing. Get to Wednesday, I'm looking online, what to do type thing. I didn't know what to do. And I started looking online, um, and I had a hospital appointment Thursday. I've not been too well lately, and... Um, in the morning I looked and and I'd been looking on um, my computer on Wednesday of uh, what to do and I come across a post online somewhere that uh, that when a cat goes missing they're usually nearby. I thought, strange. And going back to telling you that I'm of faith, in my prayers I've been asking him for guidance and I've been asking the Lord um, to keep him safe and to keep him well. Then all of a sudden I'd got back from the uh, hospital and I suppose it was about two o'clock, maybe about half an hour before that. And all of a sudden it just dawned on me ring to make a call to our local vets, which is only about 15, maybe even 10 minutes away. And uh, this was the same vets where um, they'd looked after my sabre, my Alaska Malamalt. And uh, my brothers and that use this particular vets and uh, they're incredible. They really are incredible. So I happened to make a call. Absolutely worried now, hadn't seen him since a Saturday. And I explained and um, and I was so excited because just the tone of voice, you could tell that they'd found him. And then she said to me, I'm ever so sorry to tell you, but he was brought in deceased. And I had to send a picture of him um, to confirm that he was mine. They actually thought that he was, um, by the sounds of it, that he didn't have an owner. And I said, yes, he did. I said he was my Andy and he's mine. And um, he'd been involved in a collision with a car. And, um, you know, I just can't get my head around it, how it happened, I wanted to see him, but, um, the uh, collision had caught his head. And I'd asked the, uh, the the vet who I spoke to, she'd found him. It's like a main road, not far from me. And um, she'd brought him in. And I'd asked her in her personal opinion if I was to see him, because I wanted to. And um, she gave me, it was in her personal and professional opinion that that she wouldn't, and she confirmed him from his picture. He was very distinctive, as you would tell from the picture. And... Yeah. And now my Andy's gone. Which... Which is horrific, and um, I give it anything to him back. I'm trying desperately not to. I think this is going to come to a bit of an end here, actually, as well. Um, so yeah, so rotten. So I'm probably actually going to take a break from my channel now, um, for a bit because there's some health things going on in the background as well, and um. As you can probably tell, <sighs> I 
Ach, weg, ah, ich ist... Mm. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Um, I will upload this because this is my life, this is what happened. Yes, I'm broken hearted, yes, I'm devastated. But... But do you know what? My little blessing, Andy, like I've said to my family, um, he teaches us how precious life is and how quickly it can all change and to value every single second of it. And we all take that for granted. My little Andy was um, the teaching of that. It's me. I'm sorry I know you're not clicking on here to watch me cry. Um, uh, so I don't know. I don't know at the moment. I don't know. Um, yeah. And cherish them. Cherish them. They're here for such a short time. Cherish them. On that note, I'm not sure when you'll next see me, um, but I'm not going to leave YouTube, but I may leave the channel for a little bit, only for a short break, and then I will be back um, to, to talk about it all, talk about it all, what's been going on. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it on there. So on a bit more of a composed note, apologies for how emotional this one's been. Um, hmm. But God bless you, and may my Andy be a teacher to us all, just how precious life is, and we're truly not promised endless future, or even tomorrow, and we, the day we take that for granted, it becomes dangerous. We should value every second, and that's what, that's what my little Andy taught me. And much, much more enriched my life with so much. Uh, beautiful soul. He was my boy. I just wish I could have protected him a bit more. On that note, God bless you. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.